One of the greatest things that's uh, gone on on this Leisure World campus, what I used to call Leisure World, now Laguna Woods Village, shows how long I've been here, um, is the fact that they have some great classes available through the Emeritus Institute. And we're joined today by one of those instructors who's become very popular with the residents here. Joining us today is Dr. Andrea Dearhart. You may remember her from a few years ago with uh, Fitness with Andrea here on Channel 6. Mm -hmm. You've moved on and gotten your doctorate degree and uh, are now working as an instructor, as you were at that time, I guess, at Saddleback as well. Mm -hmm. So you're now an associate faculty member in the health and wellness area. You uh -huh. teach some classes here in the village. Um, you actually chair the exercise, stretching, yoga, and consumer health area. A lot of things going on there. Um, let's get back to your education, your study, uh, your doctorate's in what field? Um, mythology and depth psychology. Wow. Okay, that sounds like a as we say, heavyweight, uh, <laughs> heavyweight topic. Um, we have all, I guess, learned a term recently. If you have uh, maybe your grandkids or kids or grandkids having babies, doulas, assessing people through the birthing process. You're actually doing that, but also in the other end of the spectrum, the death doula as well. Yes, I have that honor. I'm the founder of a nonprofit called The Heart Way, embracing life and honoring death. And we support people before, during, and after death. And most important to our heart is uh, no charge to the families. It sounds like an important uh, something that we're all going to have to deal with eventually. Talk a bit about your work. Uh, you've been teaching there for a number of years, both uh, privately through health centers as well as through the college. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've been with the Emeritus Institute since 1992. I had a little bit of a break when I went for my doctorate. I took uh, several years off to, to do that work as that took every ounce of my being to complete that, that task. But I've taught everything from philosophy to psychology classes to health and wellness and I, I just love it. It's all connected, actually. I was going to say, for a lot of people, their lives are somewhat compartmentalized. You've got this aspect and this aspect. Oh, now we're going to deal with health, and now we're going to deal with our hobby, and now we're going to deal with our grandkids or whatever. You kind of want to coordinate everything and make it all kind of one flowing package, it sounds like. Yeah, it's actually not me. It's just kind of the way it is in this world. <laughs> We've created that compartmentalized. I had this discussion yesterday in a event I hosted in Laguna Beach of... Uh, uh, we're a dualistic culture, right? Our mind thinks dualistically, right, wrong, good, bad. And actually, we're not even dualistic in, in our culture. We're monolithic because we don't want the bad. We don't want the ugly. We don't want the hard stuff. So we kind of migrate towards here. Well, really, the full spectrum of life is here. And the more that we embrace that journey, I think the more we're alive and we can move through those times in life that, that, that may be really hard. You obviously have a wide ranging background and a wide range of interest in all these fields. Specifically now, locally, what are you f focusing in on here in the here in the village area? Some things for our folks. Right, but the uh, Meredith classes yeah, as Emeritus, well. Yeah. I'm not teaching this this summer, but in the fall, um, I'll have a yoga class, which I love, and I teach that at Florence Sylvester through the mm -hmm. Emeritus Institute, and that's twice a week on Monday mornings, and that's taught like a true traditional yoga class. I, I utilize mostly Iyengar yoga, which is a, a very uh, body focused, heart centered focused, but it's articulate in the way of how we move our body and place our body. And it allows the individual to really tune into the muscle groups and see and feel themselves connected to the floor or the wall or the chair or the mat or whatever tool we're using mm -hmm. and understand their body more um, and how it moves in the world. I, I love that. The, the, old, the old adage, can't teach an old dog new tricks, is not true. Those of oh, us over 55 not. do have the ability to even retrain some of those muscles and learn some new techniques. Absolutely. My eldest student's 100 years old. That's and great. I, which is just, that just, is great. just yeah. thrilling. And she's not in a wheelchair. She uses a walker once in a while, but amazing. So that's why I love teaching. Yeah, yeah. You know, I bow to my students. They're my teacher. I'm humbly grateful to be up there working with them. Right. As I watch students come in, maybe they've got back problems, maybe something's going on, knee replacement, every replacement you can think right. of. And they leave full, they leave taller, they leave um, more enriched. So they're teaching me constantly. It sounds like, again, you're using these practices that you've learned over the last several years of your study, incorporating that while you're teaching the exercise, teaching the yoga, some of the philosophy of 
your study is coming through as well. Absolutely. We laugh, we cry, and we do everything in between. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> um, are you available for sign-ups, or have you, has your class filled up for the fall? Do you know? I don't know if I'm full, but I'll take anybody, and then I close classes after the first week. And the classes do fill. There are, mm -hmm. Some of them are mm -hmm. big. There's a sequential stretch class, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 o'clock. And there's over 100 students in wow. that class. But it's, it's uh, amazing. And I'll take everybody the first week. I know a lot of our folks remember you from the, from the show that you used to do here on Channel 6, Fitness with Andrea. Um, and I know stretching is so important. We hear more and more about that. We see the you know, Olympics coming up in just a couple of weeks. And uh, a lot of people watch these folks get warmed up. They spend a lot of time getting ready to perform yeah. before they actually perform or do their yeah. whatever it might be. Yeah. If we're... we're we're not stretching. You know, the fitness industry, we've been in it for over 30 years. We've, we've taken our kind of journey of, this was great. Oh, no, no, that doesn't work anymore. Oh, this is good. No, that doesn't work anymore. As we uh, learn more about exercise science and the body yeah. and movement and medicine. Um, but if we're not taking the body from a holistic approach and just focusing on cardio, because we have a heart condition, right, right. you know, great, maybe the heart will be stronger, but then we may lose completely our range of motion <laughs> as we age and we reach in the refrigerator for that chocolate cake that's around that corner and that back goes out because we didn't, we didn't make. There's so many misnomers. Want, do I have time for one sweet one? Sure. Uh, people say, as I always ask them, so you can strengthen your back by strengthening your abdominals. And everybody goes, yeah. And that's absolutely a fallacy. To, st <laughs> to strengthen your back, what do you do? You strengthen, strengthen your, your back. back. Strengthening your abdominals will give some stability to the back, which is great. But it won't strengthen those muscles. So we gotta go, we got to go right there. And mom was right. Posture is everything. Yeah, I know. And you were always telling me to sit up straight on the air. <laughs> you were on the path. So you look good. Now. Trying you hard look to do good. Just by you look good. Easy saying, just live, lead with your heart and you're there. Yeah. Posture. You know, I recall having worked in this community for a lot of years. When this place first started back in the 60s, uh, the folks that built it said, well, you know, what seniors are going to want is shuffleboard, golf, and bridge, which are still activities available in this community. But now with the fitness centers we have here and all the other things going on here, I think those early pioneers would be surprised if they came back today and saw what the people in this community are doing with the senior games, oh with gosh. the fitness classes through the Ameris Institute, and uh, the fitness centers right here on campus as well. So those old philosophies changed pretty quickly in the 70s and 80s. It's wonderful. One of my favorite classes is Saddleback sends the nursing students through my class the first semester of their, their, their stint at Saddleback College, and they come to my sequential stretch class. They leave limping and also with their mouth open in awe. Mm -hmm. And I couple them with one of my students, and they're just blown away by the strength and flexibility. Yeah. So it's really inspiring. And, and that, again, is one of the breakthroughs in medicine. It used to be the patients were over here, and the doctors and the training was over here. Now we're seeing that merging together. They're actually working with real patients, with real people, to know what that's kind of like for those people. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, the uh, Administrative Institute uh, has a philosophy. Um, when people leave class, they were saying, I don't know, I didn't know that before. What do you hope people leave your class knowing they didn't know before? Oh, that's a great question. The first thing that comes into my mind is I'm hoping they know how beautiful they are and how much they have the ability to deepen and expand and enrich their lives. Okay. Classes are available. Sign-up's going on right now for the fall semester for this and other emeritus classes. Uh, sign up for Andrea's class. I think you'll find it interesting. Uh, the yoga class over at the Senior Center and other classes as well through the Emeritus Institute, one of the, one of the shining, uh, shining stars of our local community colleges here in the area. Great to see you again. Thank you for coming Good by. Good to see you. Enjoy having you with us. Dr. Andrea Dearhart, and again, one of the fine instructors there with the Emeritus Institute, part of Saddleback College. Our program continues. Stay with us.